APL and welcome to Neck Bearded Kit. Uh, today I thought I would do uh, some driving tips for you guys. As I know, um, driving can be a really scary thing. As somebody that's been on the road for over 40 years myself, I think um, I'm more than qualified to give you some tips. So stay tuned for driving tips from APL. All right, guys, the first thing you want to do before you get in the vehicle of any kind, even if it's a vehicle you've been driving for a very long time, is do an outside inspection of your car. And what's the most important thing on your vehicle? Well, okay, there's a lot of things your motor, your windshield your uh, speakers, your tires though. That's the number one thing. So I'm gonna do a quick check here and this is what we call the rubber taste test. Now I know it's unconventional and you may say that's disgusting. Do you know what kind of dirt and grime tires build up? I do, but I also know I wanna be safe. So just like this. Very rubbery. Very good tread. I'd say these tires have about two more years left of them until it's time to change. On to the next thing. All right, the next step we're gonna do is we're gonna check under the hood to make sure all of the parts that make this car run so well on the road are accounted for. First one is the battery. The battery makes the air conditioning go, the MP3s play, the heat warmers warm, and um, as you can see, I have a 2.5 uh, watt battery in this vehicle. Looks like it's here, looks like it's seated properly. Everything looks good. Moving on, obviously the engine. Not as quite as important as the battery, but the engine is what makes the tires spin. As you can see, I have a push. Hmm, I have a push, it says push, so I'm assuming that's the brand. I have a push engine, and um, I definitely pushed it, and it worked, so that's accounted for. All right, we are about to get on the road, but there's two more important things that we must do. The first one might seem a little bit obvious. Start the vehicle. Sometimes I'm funny. Um, and the second one is safety goggles. Now I'm wearing glasses that help aid my vision because I'm blind as a bat without them. However, what I don't have is in case my windshield spontaneously breaks, which happened to my uncle, and ever since then I've been somewhat scarred, um, is safety goggles. And these are, not, these are not rated for glass being shattered from a windshield. So these from Home Depot are. Can never be too safe. Let's get on the road. All right, guys, I've got another tip for you uh, when it comes to music uh, when you're on your drives. Now, I love to listen to all types of music when I'm driving, um, especially rap. Uh, I really enjoy gangster rap, but that kind of presents a problem when I'm riding with other people or um, going through different neighborhoods with my windows down or just don't want to hear naughty words. Like, what do you do? Well, you can find clean and edited versions of all your almost every gangster rap song online, and um, that way you can enjoy your favorite music without feeling um, too naughty. So I'm gonna show you what I mean. I'm 100 percent I'm 200 percent clean and fun. Why do police hate Roll your windows down, it's safe. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, APL, what kind of parking job is that? Directly on the line? Only assholes do that. My friend, only smart people do that. There's nothing like asserting your dominance by parking directly on the white line. You have not only taken two parking spots up, you have reserved your car's safety for the remainder of your journey. All right, guys, we're at the end of our journey today. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope some of these tips have been helpful. I hope you'll use them, and I hope you'll stay safe on the road. I'm gonna take off, get back home, um, everything I needed to do is done, and I will see you guys on the next Neck Beard Kit. I swear! Hello? Why Hutch, man? Please, like, I, I could have been Sark or, or Seenanders or, like, 
Captain Sparkles or anyone. I'm not Hutch, I swear. Come on, man, come back. This isn't funny anymore. What the hell? The mark of a man who values safety above all. Do you see the sweat on his lips? <laughs> I know, I got so much sweat. Oh, it's so hot wearing those. <laughs> Did you think people in the park were... Uh... I couldn't really see them, so yeah. I hope I hope uh, they don't call the police. Yeah, people in the no park. No one's on our tail right Yeah, now, not so. yet. I'm a breast and wiener kind of guy. Help. I'm not Hutch. I'm not Hutch. I'm not Hutch. I swear to God, I'm not Hutch. I swear. I swear I'm not Hutch.